Hello, my name is Kutsuko. Welcome back to Break Chance Memento. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the story because we already know what happened last time. Some crazy stuff going on right now. We moved into the dorms. This dude's awake before freaking 3 p.m. Uh, I've been reading a little bit into the story because I bought an extra little thing that apparently you can buy on itch.io, which is awesome. So I will link that down in the description below if you want to go and check that out because it's got some cool stuff in it. But let's go ahead and get into this. He wonders if he'll see flying pigs around the kitchen, around the sky next, and he can't help but stare as his brother walks into the kitchen to find food. He does look super sleepy, though. At first, Shuki reasons that it's because Natsume was woken up by his roommate as well. But a few minutes later, Natsume plots down onto the couch, and Yukinari is nowhere in sight. Huh. What's up, dude? Why? Natsume slowly raises his head and finally realizes that Chiaki and Shuki are sitting right behind him. His face, light and, whoa, his face lights up, looking like a lost puppy reunited with his owner. Natsume quickly gets up and sits across from them. Oh, Chiaki, Shu-chan, you guys are up early. No, this is when everyone other than you wakes up. What are you doing up anyway? Well... Uh-oh, what happened, dude? He has no poker face at all. Some stuff happened. I have a really early bath slot, so I wanted to get used to it, and, uh, and, anyway, stuff happened, all right, no big deal, I'm awake. I, I, I know, and I'm, I'm not going to say what happened, because I, I was, I was reading the story that is included in the thing I was just talking about a second ago, and <laughs> I really hope that they mention it in this, because that is super duper interesting. But let's, let's keep going. Hopefully they mention it pretty soon. Natsume begins eating his mackerel at a blazing sp- Ew! Ick! God, fish in the morning. Really? And Shuki can't help but wonder what happened that would cause his older brother to be so flustered. Hmm. What are you staring at me for? Is there something on my face? No, I was just thinking that this is the first time I've actually, in ages that I've actually seen you eat. What? Well, you never eat dinner or breakfast with me and Masani at home. You make it sound like Natsu has some kind of eating disorder. I mean, you gotta, you gotta kind of understand, though. It's not like I thought he never ate. We just never saw it. He cooked everything, but never ate with us. Actually, it's because your brother's a vampire. He just sucks people. Oh, oh, that's another thing. That's another thing. That was added in in the extra stuff too. Oh my god. Uh, you guys have seen the thumbnail for these videos, actually. The art for this made by Aura Cyanide actually <laughs> had an imagining of all the characters being like fairy tale monsters and such. Like he was a vampire. Uh, I think Chiaki was a mummy. Um, oh, what Yukinari was a werewolf. I think uh, I can't remember what Shuki was. Shuki was a something, and then Masaharu was. Uh, I don't know what Masaharu was, but it's it's on the thumbnail, you can see. He just sucks people's blood during class and then falls asleep after. <laughs> Dude, that's messed. He's not really eating that fish right now either, it's just an illusion. He's a vampire? Oh, that actually clears up a lot of things, like why he's so creepy. Could you guys not talk about me as if I'm not sitting right here? Really, dude, come on. Those brother speaks normally to them and nothing about their interactions is really out of place. Shuki gets a strange feeling from Natsume. Maybe he's just having trouble adjusting. No, he was already acting a little weird before we even found out we were moving. He wonders what it is his brother is trying to hide from Chiaki. If we can't even tell Chi-chan about it, maybe it's pretty serious. Can't really do anything about it if he doesn't want to share though. Yeah, really can't. He finishes eating his breakfast while listening to Chiaki and Natsume banter on as usual. Afterwards, Shuki decides to spend the rest of the day lazing, lazing about, making up for being able, unable to sleep in. I, I can't speak again, as usual. The next morning, Shuki wakes up after his alarm goes off. He quickly gets up to turn it out before he wakes Chiaki. Shuki yawns and rubs his eyes. Oh, because he's got to go do the... Okay. Man, it'll take a while for me to get used to bathing this early in the morning. You will eventually get used to it, though. After gathering his toiletries, hair care kit, and the clothes to change into, Shuki goes downstairs to the first floor bathroom. When he gets there, however, he's surprised to see Yukinari standing outside the bathroom looking mildly irritated. Was Kawa-senpai? Dude, what's wrong? 
Oh, Shuki. It's right, you have the sixth slot. I forgot since you weren't here yesterday. What's going on? Why are you here? I thought my brother had the 530 slot. Well, you're half right. The 530 slot was originally mine. Someone decided to erase my name before you guys moved in. So Natsume wrote his name on my slot without knowing. It's not his fault. Oh, that sucks. Did you tell my brother about it? Of course, I told him... Shuki thinks back to... And wonders if Yukonari had something to do. And it does. It does. It has everything to do with it. And you guys, I'm sure, are already getting the hint. And it's awesome. I forget you had the slot right after. I was used to no one else being there. Natsume and I decided to whoever wakes up first gets to go in first. He won for today, but he promised me he'd bathe quickly. There's two shower heads in there, so I offered to go in at the same time, but... Um... Yeah... Something about Yukonari's expression and a manner of speaking makes Shuki feel more suspicious about yesterday's happenings. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of like we're sharing a slot. Oh. Such as sha sharing a shower together. You know what I mean? You know, you know what I mean. He can't think of much else to say to that. But if you have a slot right after, there's kind of a conflict, huh? Uh. Oh. Oh, no. Ooh, son. Change to a different time slot. No. Offer to share with... No, I'm not sharing with Natsume. Offer to share with Yukinari. Ah! Mm -hmm. What do I do? Somebody give me... Give me the answer. Somebody give me the answer right now. Because I don't know. Ah! Offer to share with you, Kanari. Well, I could share my slot with you if you want. It's probably a lot easier than you having to bathe in 50 minutes after any is done. You can already seem surprised at this and tilts his head at Shuki. He appears to appraise him somehow silently. Is that really alright? I don't mind, but... Sure, why not? You said there's two showers, right? So I take one and you take the other one. Uh... I have a bad feeling about this. I think maybe I just screwed stuff up. Seems like Natsume's about done anyway. He usually bathes pretty quickly. Well, yeah, I thought he'd have to take a little while since his hair is a bit long. Um, his hair compared to my hair are two completely different things, dude. My hair is gonna take a long freaking time. His hair is gonna take like maybe two minutes. Mine takes like an hour. He probably rushes because bathing takes time away from his sleeping. <laughs> is that how it is? After a couple of minutes, Natsume emerges and jumps when he sees you. Can I be standing there? <laughs> Shoot, Chan, what? Oh, right, you have the slot right after me. Hmm? Ours. Yeah, I offered to share my slot. Oh! Are you sure that's okay? I mean, you didn't want to share a slot with him, so obviously I have to. Natsume shoots a sidelong. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's I I feel bad. I feel bad now. I should have I should have just I don't know uh, I Hope this goes well really suspicious It's fine not to me. I'll take good Dude dude stop this stop this stop this. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it There's too much going on right now. There's too much going on right now that I can't figure out <laughs> Dude are you serious? <laughs> With that, Yukinari puts a Shuki in the bathroom and closes the door behind him before not to make him voice any protests. You should know my brother might be a real space case, but he always sticks to the routines and doesn't like change. I don't know what's going on between you two, but it's really freaking him out. Oh, well, I'm well aware. Don't you think it's fun to tease people like that, though? Amami is pretty easily flustered, too. He seems like the kind of dude to be very easily flustered. Shuki considers all the time he's tried to push Masahara's buttons just before he kicks and can't help smiling. <laughs> Guess I can't argue with that. So which shower do you want? The bathroom is pretty spacious, just as Yukinari said. One shower has a shower head placed higher up and is closed off by a thin layer of glass. Shuki points at it. I'd rather have that one sitting since my hair is long and it's easier to wash it when I'm standing up. Uh, I guess that was a silly question. You can already start arranging his bath items around the other shower and then takes his shirt off. Shuki. Oh no! 
Hosokawa Senpai is so small. Chichan is probably even shorter, but somehow Hosokawa Senpai seems a lot more delicate and fragile. I mean, he does seem very, very fragile. He's very wispy. He's like a very wispy person, you know what I mean? Shuki has heard that Yukinari is from an old, rich family. He's like a little prince. 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 A relic of ages past. A relic, you say? Whoa, naked people, hold up. Chill, it's gonna be alright. Hey, have you lived in a dorm since starting school? Shuki finds himself speaking up without thinking. Yukinari freezes and tilts his head slowly to look at Yukinari and goes, I'm sure you're liking the view, unless it's just our shirts off right now, which I don't know, but we're not going to get into it. Yeah, my family's main house is pretty far into the city, so it'd be a pain to have to take the train back and forth. <laughs> I get the feeling you chose the school purposely so you can get anyway. Oh my, was it that obvious? <laughs> you're right though, I hate being tied down. Well, you know, it's whatever. Sounds like living with your family is pretty harsh. Not really. It's not that we don't get along exactly. It's not really simply, it's, I'm simply not as close to my brothers as you are to yours. I'm really not close to my brothers though either. Like, I seem much further away from my brothers than most normal people would be. Your brothers too. Yep. Two, just like you, I'm a middle child. When I was in the room, the doctor mistakenly told my parents I'd be a girl. <laughs> Everyone was quite disappointed when I came out. But there aren't many women in my family. I thought rich family preferred to have sons. Nowadays, every son after the first is a bit of a disappointment. Daughters can be strate strategically married off into other families, but the family has much less bargaining power with a son unless he's first born. How does this even work? Why is that even a thing? I don't know how we could talk about that. Like, it's nothing to do with them. Nothing. It's nothing to do with them. Personally, I'd hate living like that. Hmm... Shuki realizes that Yukinari's been staring- Oh! What? Do people mistake you for a girl a lot? Do random perverts try to pick you up on the streets and such? I mean... Oh, are these questions too personal? I was just curious. Well, I usually don't walk around alone, so I don't have to deal with sexual harassment too much. Masani's pretty, ex you know, intimidating. As for being mistaken for a girl, I don't know what people think when they look at me. It doesn't really matter to me much. Hmm... Why do you have your hair that long, by the way? I'm I'm very curious about that. I think you look cute in women's clothing, though. Not interested. Sure, but my comment still stands. We should hurry up and bathe. Yeah, I suppose we should. Wow. This is surprisingly much more tame and normal than I was thinking it was going to be. Ha! Huh. I guess that went decent enough. The rest of the day passes by uneventfully. Sako shows up in the common room one day with a little speech to read to everyone about the policies for living in dorms over at summer break. Shuki figures she just likes hearing herself talk, which I'm sure she does too. A lot of boys leave dorms to stay with their families during the summer break, so while those people are gone, the bathroom rules will be relaxed a bit. Feel free to shower or bathe in the bathroom is empty, just be prepared to share if someone else comes in too. Also, don't drop. Don't drop. Dude! This chick is gonna get a punch in the face. Wait, who said that? Who said that? I need to go back. Hold on. I need to go back. I can't I can't remember which one to go back. Which one of you pranksters scribbled Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> which one of you pranksters scribbled this in my notes? A few guys started laughing and elbowing each other in the sides, but obviously nobody confesses to the spicing up of Dark Mother's <laughs> uh, How would you mistake saying that out loud? Just, when you see it, why would you just automatically be like, Oh, don't drop the soap. Whatever, chick. After a few moments of silence, she's forced to continue, albeit somewhat deflatedly. Good! Why wouldn't she notice what that said before she read it out? That's what I was thinking! Anyway, the joke's on you, boys. The bad news is that to conserve money electricity, there will be no air conditioning in dorms. Oh, you son of a... Oh... Donkulous. But at least we're all here together, isn't that great? Sure, chick. Oh wait, I don't actually live here. I live somewhere with actual air con- Wow. 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 Her real personality is on for full display. She's a freaking devil, chick. Anyway, no AC, huh? At least we can hop in for a cold shower pretty much whenever we want to now. Even if the dorm is quiet, the few stragglers who've opted to stay in the dorms even through breaks sit in the main lobby together, hanging out in a sort of detached way. 
A pair of guys are by the window playing a game of chess while others are reading and working on their summer homework. Summer homework? Come on. Geeks. There's no way I'm touching any summer homework until I'm done the week before school starts. Oh, okay. The teachers say it can't be done? Challenge accepted. I mean, if you could do it, you could do it. Go ahead, dude. Shuki Lounges. I'm actually a very, very, like, peculiar person in that way. Where I will wait literally until the last minute to do my stuff. Because I feel like I do much better work when I'm rushed. Where I just put stuff off too long and then I'm rushed and I'm like, crap, crap, I gotta get this done now. And then I'm like forcing myself to do it. Whatever. Shuki lounges on one of the couches in the common room, though he's not sure why he bothers. It's not as if he really knows any of the other guys living in the dorms. He just doesn't feel like sitting in his room alone tonight. Where's Chiaki? Oh. Chi Chan's out somewhere and he used to into social with strangers, and Masani has summer practice. Though Shuki doesn't want to admit it, he does feel a little lonely. A few of the other dorm tenants try to strike up conversation, but Shuki finds that he doesn't have much in common with them. Conversations get oh, that sucks. After a few hours of boarding, Shuki decides that he's had enough of this, so he goes back into his and Chiaki's room. Shuki. An eerie pair of cold white Oh, not again, dude. Extends from the water and reaches for him. Shuki surrenders himself to them and falls over the side of the bridge like a lifeless puppet. The water embraces him, surrounds him. Is this now starting to like go? I think I kind of understand this a little bit more because it's supposed to be something about like this has to do with the accident, right? It's unbearably cold and can't bring himself to move his limbs at all. Where are you? It's so lonely. I'm here. Where are you? Shuki thinks, but he can't get the words out. The voice fades. Darkness presses in from all sides. <sighs> Dude, that again. Shuki's head is throbbing when he opens his eyes. Dude. The remnants of a hazy dream linger at the edge of his mind, but the memory soon dwindles to nothing. Well, it's the middle of the night. I should try and get back to sleep. Good God. Well, it's Monday. And you know what that means? It's time to end this very weird episode. I feel like I didn't really get too much done in this episode. Like, we got to know a little bit more about Yukinari, which is good. But also, we still have a lot of questions that need to be answered from freaking Natsume and his weirdness, which I already know somewhat about. And I'm very excited to see where that's going to be going in the game, because I don't know. I think what was, what was said about the game was that... Uh, the aura cyanide really wanted to or or the the writer the writer wanted to um really incorporate a lot of what what was written before the game was actually done and a lot of it was changed in the aftermath so i don't know if that's going to be a thing or not but this is probably me like you guys probably don't really understand what i'm rambling about but if you go and buy this extra little tidbit uh from the itch.io page that i'm going to include down below you can get what i'm talking about you'll get some extra awesome art some previous art before the game was made you know a little bit more into the background of it um you'll get the full story uh somewhat of the story that was written beforehand that was written way way back when before the game was made and You'll get to know a little bit more about the characters in depth that way. So you should definitely go and check that out. It's only like $2. Or I paid I paid more. Um, I think it's actually $1. I just heard from Aura Cyanide that they're drawing characters on their DeviantArt page. Which I will also include down in the link below too. So you can go check that out. Which they are planning on making another game maybe in March. So that's going to be very, very exciting. I'm looking forward to that. But I'm going to end the video here because it's already gone long enough. So I will see you guys in the next video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more content. Because that content will be delivered straight to your doorstep as always. I'll see you guys later.